Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and it is time for monthly favorites. So I'm gonna share with you some super standout products for me in the month of September. I have some a body care thing, a hair care thing, a plant, and something random over here that I never thought in a million years that I would like. So I'll share that at the end though. So first up, this is from Huga. I think this is the all-in-one essence. This is amazing. And I had a really hard time with this for a long time, probably a couple of months it sat there because I didn't know what to do with it. It's a serum, essence, toner, and moisturizer all in one. And if you happened to see my skincare routine that I put up recently, I like using a million products. I like using a ton of things. I like reaching for different bottles. Um, and this was too like all in one for me and I felt like oh that's it just one thing and I never used it it kind of sat there and I started using it on my body and I was like well I'll just use it up as a body moisturizer and I loved it so freaking much on my body my skin just feels so soft and comforted and amazing that I, I use it on my face and I use this literally as just all in one I'll do a different toner or essence and then I'll put this on I'll put my eye cream on and I'm done and this is so good it has no fragrance whatsoever I only need one pump on my face, so that thing's gonna last forever. So you only need the one pump for your whole face, neck, chest. It's awesome, it, it covers everything, it sinks in nicely, it makes my skin feel super soft and comforted and just good, like I'm good to go. It's the fastest skincare routine ever. And I wanna try other things from this brand now because I love this so much even though I kind of wrote it off for a while, but it's really, really good. If you've tried anything from this brand, let me know the things you love because I want to try everything now. The next thing is a hair mask. This is from the brand Anomaly. I got this at Target. Um, I think it was either six or seven dollars and all their products were the same price. And I would, this was something I bought because I was looking for something to buy. I was leaving the store and I was like, I didn't buy enough, I'm gonna buy something else. And I just, I literally just bought this to buy it. Um, I love hair masks. I will try any hair mask from any brand. I've tried a ton over the years. And I have never tried anything like this. It's fitting that the name is Anomaly. Um, all the packaging is kind of just, you know, basic. It says here that they spend less on packaging to spend more on the superior formulas. All the packaging is made from recycled plastic, um, plastic trash. This one says 70% recycled plastic trash, but I think all the other ones were 100%. And I wanna say this one because maybe the lid, I hear like lids sometimes are recycled or recyclable. Um, anyway, this is amazing. It's unlike any hair mask I've ever used in the way that it's so thin. So when I first used this, I was like, oh, this isn't gonna do anything because I'm used to a hair mask that is so thick and rich. like you could. It's a paste almost on your hair. Um, but this is so thin, like it's almost thinner than a regular conditioner. And I squirted some into my hand and I squirted that half into here because I like to have an even amount on both hands to rub through my hair. And when I first did that, I felt like the mask was already like super thin, like changing into nothing. And I was like, oh, this is not gonna do anything. When I put it on my hair, I put it on my hair and just combing it through my hair in the shower, I could feel that this was amazing. And when I rinsed it off, oh man, my hair felt like a silky baby. And it wasn't weighed down at all. I didn't feel, you know how when you rinse off conditioner or hair mask, you have to rewash your body if you hadn't already because there's conditioner all over your back and your legs and stuff. This didn't give me that super slimy feeling. It didn't make the bathtub all slick, but my hair felt amazing, amazing. And it's so thin, like this feels like a very high-end hair mask, not worth six bucks. Like, this feels amazing. I wanna try everything. I wanna get the shampoo, I wanna get the conditioner, I wanna see what else they got to offer. If you've tried anything else from this brand, Anomaly, let me know, because this hair mask was otherworldly amazing. Um, and the other thing I've been loving this month is perfume. So I go through phases with perfume where I'll spray it every day and I'll use it every day, and then other times I kind of forget, I forget about it. And I've been in a phase of forgetting about it, but now I'm back. I've been wearing perfume every single day. So every day before work, I spray a perfume. And I've been really into my mini perfumes. I'm wanting to use up these ones I've just had forever. Um, oh my God. And one particular one that I have been insanely loving is from Atelier. So this isn't the one I've been loving. This is the, um, what's this one called? Cedrant Enivrant. That is not right. 
This has to be some sort of lime or something. Anyway, let me see if you could see the name that I just butchered there. Um, I used up the Orange Sanguine. I was in my empties video. I sprayed it every morning. Oh my gosh, it's the nicest, freshest, zestiest, most citrusy scent. This one smells exactly the same as that one except more limey than orange. And it's really, really good. Oh my god, it smells so good. And I love it because it smells very strong at first, but it doesn't last all day long. I can't smell it on myself when I leave work, which is what I like in a perfume. Like, I don't want it to smell that strong the whole day because it'll just give me a headache. But this one, so good. Oh my gosh. And I hadn't used it in a long time, so I didn't want to use it up. These perfumes are so expensive from Atelier. I've never purchased anything in full size, uh, but they smell insane. And anytime they have these little roller balls as point perks or uh, like a gift set, I buy it because they're amazing. And I've been loving this scent all month. Another one that I'm actually shocked that I like now is the uh, Pink Sugar. I think this brand is called Aqualia or something like that. I don't know, it's just this one from, it's this one. I think everyone knows what this one is. It's called Pink Sugar. It smells like cotton candy and that's it. It's super, super sweet, but it's not cloying. Like I don't find this to be sick. You know, I don't think it smells gross. It doesn't smell cheap. Um, it just smells so good. And I used to use this years ago and I used up most of it right away. Like within a couple months it was down to here, but then I kind of got sick of the scent and I've had it just ever since sitting there like with this much and I can't use it up because every time I smell it, it just transports me to however many years ago and I'm like, oh, that scent, the scent is just like not mine anymore. But the other day I sprayed it and I was like, oh my God, it smells amazing now. We are back. I love this again. I sprayed it the other day and I wore it to work and one of my coworkers is like, I keep smelling Funfetti cake and I was like, oh, I think it's my perfume and it was this that I was wearing. It doesn't smell like cake to me. It just smells literally like cotton candy. Just so good and I love it so much. I love that one. Okay, the one makeup thing that I have to mention is the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Groundwork. Oh my goodness. I couldn't, I can't put this down. I wanna wear it every single day. It's so easy to use. It's so creamy, so smooth, so blendable. They last all day. And this shade in the pan, it looks just like brown, but on a swatch or on my eyes, it's like a brown with some taupe in it. And there's just something special about this color that normally I would think is so boring, but I love it. I want to wear it every single day. It's just a beautiful color. I bought this on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. And now I want to buy them all. I'm not going to because I feel like if I buy too many, this one won't feel as special anymore. It'll just feel like another one. But this color, oh, I love it so much. Like, I, I don't want to put it down. I haven't even opened the other one that I have yet. I bought the shade Painterly. Haven't used it because I only want to use this one. It's so good. All right, I think that's all the products I have. I have this plant that I want to mention. This, if I could get it out. This is my Photonia. Oh my gosh, look how big it is. This is a Photonia, sometimes it's called a nerve plant, um, and this is so beautiful. This plant used to be like four vines that were this tall, like just tall, leggy, no leaves on the bottom, just leaves on the top, and I'm like, that plant does not like where it's at, like it doesn't like anything. Um, and it would lean drastically towards the sun. Like I'd come home from work and those four tall legs are like leaning hardcore. So I thought maybe it really wants a lot of sun. So I, when we moved here, I put this plant in that window. It's a west facing window and it gets light all day long. And then in the afternoon, it gets bright light and direct light. And this plant just went crazy in that spot. Suddenly it started like bushing out all over the bottom. It got flat like this, so it's gonna start hanging soon. This plant is one of my absolute favorites. I love it so, so much. I'm so glad it loves the bright direct light. Um, and it doesn't burn any of the leaves either. Having that much light, it just thrives away. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Um, and this plant is so easy to take care of as well. I feel like it's gonna need to be repotted soon though because um, just of how much it's growing. And I notice like every four days I have to water it. And I, that's kind of something I read is that if your plant is drying out too quickly, it might be in a too small of a pot, like it might need to be repotted. But I love the pot that it's in and I don't want to repot it. But anyway, it's so easy to take care of. I just wait till it's limp. 
the leaves and the, the vines will just get limp and they will hang completely flat around the pot and then I water it. Um, any more water than that, it doesn't really need. Like it's this dry sounding leaves. Oh, I just love him. He's so beautiful. And I'm so glad he's thriving and growing so big and beautiful. And I just had to shout him out. He's so pretty. And then the last random thing I have to mention is this. I have to mention this scented broom. Oh my God. I have never in my life liked the smell of apple cinnamon. I think it's so gross and I just, ugh, like there's something about it I just find so sick. Like I can't, it just smells sick. But for some reason, this year, this is the best smell I've ever smelled in my whole life. I bought, I'll show, I'll insert some little pictures of it, but there's a little tiny broom, broom that I bought that's like this big, it's just the tiny broom part. I bought it at, I think Home Depot or Lowe's. It's something about the smell. When you're at the store, if you just like walk towards it, like what the heck is that smell? So I bought one little broom. I thought it was gonna be too strong. I kept it in the packaging, but I was so obsessed with the smell. I opened it and hung it there. And then I bought two more of them. And then I bought the Big Daddy broom. I haven't taken this out of the package yet because the smell is strong enough for me being in here. But I think I'll end up taking it out um, soon. Oh my God, it smells so good. And then I bought the scented pine cones at Sprouts. I was like, just crazy. And I was like, I want this smell in my whole house. I want it in the bedrooms. I want it in the bathroom. I want it in the kitchen. I want it in the living room. I want it in here. I want this broom. I want it everywhere. I was I'm obsessed with it. Oh my God, I can't get enough. But not all apple cinnamon smells the same. Like this one says apple orchard on it. And they had another one that said cinnamon, but to me, they smell exactly the same. This is just the one I picked up. Oh my gosh, like I wanna get another one. I love the smell so much. I hope it stays strong smelling forever. Anyway, that is it. Those are all of the products that were kind of standouts for me. My beautiful plant that I never wanna stop looking at. Like every single day I go touch it because it's just, look at him. And I know you didn't know what he looks like before, but he looked tragic before. They just like exploded recently. Um, but yeah, that is it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Let me know some products that you love this month. I would love to know. What are your opinions on the scented broom? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I would love to know. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later in another video. Oh, goodbye.